Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play E7. Last time we started off going through the uh, Wind Sanctum, and today we're gonna finish it off and uh, meet the Wind Dragon. And hopefully not have to fight him, but yeah, I kind of doubt that's going to happen. Ooh, we have some treasure! Yeah, let's go ahead and blast the crap out of these guys, and let's see what we got over here. Nice! Yeah, that's like the best weapon in the game! For Miss Shara. Let's go ahead and equip that on her. Look at that attack boost! But more importantly, it teaches the mighty aerial orb skill. It costs a shit ton of SP, but it's really, really good. So what I want to do is actually put her into my party. Bye, Sigrun, see ya, sayonara. And uh, let's see, I'm going to take the Crimson Jewel off of her, stick it onto her. Where is it? There we go. And then I'll go ahead and put a training ring on her. Let's see, who has the other training ring? You have the flash ring. There it is. Okay, so yeah. So there we go. Perfect. And let's go over here and hit this switch. What do we got? Yeah, basically it's still hitting switches, dissolving crystals, moving on. Um, it's still kind of mazy, but this isn't too terrible. I mean, we've seen worse, so it's fine. Uh, let's see, just go on over to this side. If I don't go down a particular path, that's just because there isn't really anything worth going down. If it's just like a harvesting point or something like that, I'm going to skip it. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, let's not use that. We'll use her. There we go. Awesome. I probably should show off that aerial orb skill. I'll use it on the next big group of enemies. Be careful right here. Yeah, you want to uh, not fall down that little hole right there. So you have to wait for the wind to uh, strike. So let's try it. Our new aerial orb skill. Bam! It like, oh my god, it just like completely obliterated them. Oh, it's so good. And it will come really handy in the upcoming boss fights that we have as well. So keep that in mind, and you're going to want to um, make sure that you level it up as much as humanly possible. Whoa! Okay, so coming over here, I know that I said I wouldn't go to places that have uh, no treasure or anything, but this is kind of deceptive. You want to fall off the edge! Whoa! And then over here, oh, we have some enemies, but we also have some treasure that we can get. And what do we have? Ooh, 30,000 gold. And yeah, we're going to be getting um, some pretty expensive equipment relatively soon. So yeah, you're going to want to make sure that you get as much gold as humanly possible. But blast the crap out of this guy. While we're down, we might as well... Um, loot this stuff, not that it's any, not that it's great or anything, but, I mean, we might as well. So, just take the warp point here, and we're going to end up going back to the very start, and I'm just going to skip through these enemies that we've already seen, and fly on back to, uh, where we were. Let's see, wait for it, there we go, awesome! And now we want to head over this way, and I want to go down, oh, we've already done this part, okay, so yeah, screw this. So we've already done this, we've already hit that switch, uh, so now we need to go to... where are we? Uh, yeah, just go straight up north. If you go to the left-hand side, there's just a little harvesting point, which I don't care about. So, move and groove right along. Kill this guy, and then we have another little point that we don't want to fall off the edge. Yeah, make sure... you have to have your little wind cape equipped for this, and you gotta be pretty quick about it. So, from here, uh, yeah, I want to head to the left-hand side first. Yeah, I have a little map made up, but again... This, like, these places are so mazy. Even maps don't help all that much. I mean, I've been to mazier places, like that mountain dungeon, I think it was Mount Shin, back in the magical land of Waz. That, oh my god, that place is like nightmares. I need graph paper and like the whole nine yards to get through that place. Man, it was just ridiculous. I loved that game. Such a good game. I wouldn't mind replaying it, you know, now that I have a better microphone and better recording equipment and stuff like that. Um, my previous recording equipment, every once in a while, like, I don't know why, but, like, the audio would just drop out. It was really strange. It really pissed me off. And, because I would be like, you know, I would record something, and I'd be like, oh, I got it all done. Everything's fine. And then, um, oh, wow, I really shouldn't have used that aerial orb. But, you know, it, it seemed like everything was going to be great. And then I would go into the editing, and then, like, the, uh, the game's music would just kind of drop out, but, like, my voice would still this stay there, but then my voice would be kind of off, and just, like, by a couple of seconds, and I didn't know what the deal was, and I, I either had to go back and re-record, or I had to 
go back and find the music and try to sync the music up to it. It was a pain in the damn ass. But thank God I got some new recording equipment and I don't have to deal with that anymore. Okay, so going through here, you have to be really careful and just fly over all these guys. Yeah, completely ignore them. And then go over here and we can go ahead and take off our wind cape and fall down the hole. Yeah, to get some treasure. Get some fossilized twigs. Awesome. And then we're going to do the exact same thing again. Heal up yet again. And keep on moving and grooving right along. Let's see. Uh, you know what I want to do? Let's go all the way down to the end. Yeah, if you get hit by these fans, it really doesn't matter. And then go over to this side. You need to take your cape off to land so that you're able to actually attack these guys because you can't really attack them from the air. You'll just be floating all over the place. So, yeah. And then hit this switch. There we go. Well, oh, Crystal 1 dissolved. Oh, did... Oh, wow, all those stupid items all disappeared. That really sucks. Eh, whatever. Okay, go over here to this side, do the same thing. Uh, let's see. I don't want to use any of my extra skills or my SP at this point because we will have a boss fight coming up and I want to save all my SP and everything else for that. Hit this switch. Hopefully my items don't vanish. That would just be lovely. Okay. Yeah, my item vanished. Damn it. Okay, so put my cape on again. You want to go to the middle platform and then fall down the hole. Four. Hey, the blood nail. It's actually a pretty decent accessory. Um, what it does is it actually absorb. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I forgot to put my wind cape on. Uh, what it does is it actually absorbs HP. Like, as you um, fight enemies, it will um, absorb HP as you attack. So, that could be good for harder difficulty levels. Um, but again, I don't really want to have to worry about that kind of stuff. So, let's go on through here and... Hey, hey, get some treasure! Oh, nice. Some healing items that I'll probably never use. I want a dragon energy drop. Huh, who knew? Um, I'm going to get my party all set up in just a second. Okay, I am ready to roll. Basically, I went ahead and I put the uh, Power Ring 3 on Crooksy, the Flash Ring 2 on Adol for some extra stun, and I kept the, um, what is it, the Crimson Jewel on Mishera so that she could use that Aerial Orb multiple, multiple times. Uh, yeah, we'll get on it. I don't know if it looks like a bird to me. It looks more like a sea otter or a fox or something. Whoa! Oh, well, that's kind of neat. It's kind of cool. It's just floating through the ether. They don't look too happy about being on this, uh, bird statue. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. We'll do- Whoa! Yikes! Is that the wind dragon? Oh, no! Holy crap! Let's go ahead and switch over to Mishara. And we use our mighty aerial orb. Bam! Whoa, look at that damage. And then just blast the evil of crap out of this guy. Basically, the wind is pushing you back. So if you use anybody else who's not a ranged character, it's really hard to um, attack this guy. But if you use Mishara or Sigrun or somebody like that, um, it makes this battle exponentially easier. As you notice, you cannot stun this monster. So... Yeah, you might not want to equip the flash ring, but, eh, we'll use it for later. <laughs> so, yeah, I figured, you know, you might as well just have it. Wow, I'm getting all sorts of crap from this guy. I mean, I could go around and try to, um, receive some of the, uh, items that they're dropping, or I could probably just equip that alias orb, or the, the urn, and it would just suck everything towards me. That could work, too, but, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. Oh. Get a nice little healing point. Um, yeah, we all know what that means. So, let's go over here, heal up. The next thing that I want to do, uh, for me, Shara, I'm going to equip the Flash Ring 2. For Adol, I want to equip, where is it? It's the, um, the White Talisman to prevent all status ailments. And for Cruxy, I'm going to give her... The, where is it? Uh, the Crimson Jewel. If I could find it. There it is. Yeah. Oh, wait. Where did it go to? There it is. Okay, awesome. And I think with all that, I am ready to roll. 
I have my extra gauge all the way up, my SP gauge all the way up, and we're going to be fighting one of the hardest bosses we have faced thus far. Yeah, this guy is a bitch and a half. Ugh, got like nightmares thinking about it. Oh, pretty. Nice little garden right here. With a storm in the background. Looks like something from Kid Icarus. Hmm. I haven't played that game since I was a little kid. I'm talking about the Kid Icarus for the NES. Yeah, that's how old I am. <laughs> that was such a hard game. Oh, man. That was so difficult. No one of you died in like the most brutal fashion. It would just say, I am finished. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. I had to use cheat codes to get through that. There was like a... I mean, back then, they had magazines and stuff. I mean, they had the Nintendo Power, but they actually had, like, books and stuff dedicated just to cheat codes and things like that, because back then, in those games, there were cheat codes. Like, there was, you know, button combinations that you had to press to get extra lives or extra gold or passwords or whatever it happened to be uh, to give you. I think for that game, it was just various passwords. Like, for Metroid, it was Justin Bailey. You had to type that in. You got, like, all the items and everything. Um, but... Yeah. So Kid Icarus, I could never get through, like, the first or second stage without uh, using some of those passwords. It was just brutal! And even back then, I wasn't good at action games all that much. Wow. This dragon looks creepy as hell. Like, holy shit! And of course, he doesn't tell us anything. He just goes straight to the battle. Yeah, you're the Destin Warrior. You're the Dragon Warrior. But let me try to kill you first. And this guy does not hold back. Like, he really goes after you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I've played this JRPG before. Incoming! Okay, so let's see. First things first, let's put on... Whoa! Cruxy. And I want... Oh, she's like stunned. Move! Get What are you doing? Get over here and... Dragon Blaze! Yeah, nice damage there. We've got another Dragon Blaze on her. And then let's use our extra attack catastrophe! BAM! Okay, so we've already got her down to about half HP. And that's about as good as we're going to get. And then it's just going to be ridiculous to get any more damage in on her. So, what I want to try to do is use my share as much as possible um, to hit the weakness and also just to kind of hit him from the length. Okay, so now you want to run away! Run as fast as you. No, damn it! Get away from me! Shit! Whoa, yikes! Okay, yeah, so he swallowed eight all, so that sucks. So now what he's going to do, until you hit him, he's going to keep eight all inside of his stomach, he's going to poison him, and then he's going to, like, absorb HP from him as well. It really sucks. Let's see, we can probably get another skill attack on him, another dragon blaze. Okay, nice. That's some good damage there. And, uh, yeah, even though Cruxy kind of doesn't hit the um, weakness, um, her attack power is just so much better than Mishara's, so, yeah. Uh, who am I using right now? Yeah, let's use Mishara. And then you want to just attack the tail as it just kind of hangs there. Get as many hits in as possible. Hopefully I can get another Dragon Blaze going on. Oh, it looks like I can! Come on! No, 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 no! Come on! Woohoo! Got him! Nice! Yeah, not so bad if you know what you're doing. If you miss with your extra attacks, you don't have really good skills or whatever, this guy can take FOREVER and inflict tons of status ailments. He can inflict Confuse on you, Stun, Curse, Poison, like you name it, he can inflict it. And that's why one of that white talisman on Adol to avoid all those status ailments because this guy does not play around. But we took him out, easily enough. Hey, and what do we get? Ooh! Nice! Which gives us no skills, no powers, no nothing. Thanks, dragon. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. So, uh, Mishara, hey, what do you get? Ooh! Wind Legion! Nice! Not that her extra skill is any better. I still think that my hammer users, or, like, not my hammer users, but, like, Dogie and Crooksy, pretty much, 
um, have the best extra skills in the game. So that's really whenever you're using an extra skill, you want to take the time to switch your characters over to one of those two and use their extra skill just because they do inflict the most damage. And it's 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 just all about the damage. You know, at the end of the day, it's a numbers game, and it is what it is. Well, the end is near. Oh, no. Okay. Can we do anything to stop the end? Is there anything we can do to stop this Winds of Destruction? I hope so. You weren't listening, Dogie? I mean, come on now. Yeah, so there's nothing that we can do, so our entire adventure's for naught. Otago's gonna be destroyed anyway, and all we can do is sit by and watch and do nothing. That kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Oh, well, we only have two more. I mean, the hard part's over with. Okay. Hmm, maybe we could just ask around. Yeah. Maybe Kairos knows something? Maybe Aisha found out something. Who knows? Well, just uh, go talk to people. I mean, it is a JRPG after all. That's what we do best. Okay, we can head on back to Ixka. I mean, hopefully by now he's found something better than just various recipes and stuff. Oh, what's going on here? Who are these people? Where are they at? Probably not going to tell us, I imagine. The man in black. Huh. Oh, yeah. I wonder who these people are, huh? Ooh, red text. You know he's evil if he has red text. Wait, so are these people ushering in the Winds of Destruction? The Winds of Destruction isn't anything that actually just comes from the dragons or just comes because of the corruption of the land, it comes because of these two people? Okay, so if we can stop these two guys, then we can stop the Winds of Destruction. Huh, well, sounds like a plan. And what does Kairos know? And has Aisha found anything out? Find out next time and let's play E7. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.